After traveling in Latin America for five months, we have now reached our last country of our trip, which is no other than Mexico. We'll be spending one month exploring the beauty of this country, visiting several different destinations. And I now welcome you to join the journey exploring Mexico together. In this video, you'll get to join us to our first destination in Mexico, which is Palenque. Palenque is famous for its ancient Mayan ruins, lush nature and beautiful waterfalls. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Yesterday we arrived to Mexico and I'm so excited. I have technically been to Mexico before but I was two years old so I'm not sure if that counts. So basically this is my first time here and we came here taking a bus or like a shared minivan from Guatemala. The trip took us like eight hours. Luckily the border control, there was like no people there so that went quite fast and smoothly. And if you can hear that background noise, that's a bunch of monkeys. Yesterday also when we walked for dinner, we we saw a monkey just beside the road like from very close which was kind of crazy our plan is now to stay here in Palenque for a few days and at the moment we are just about to start walking into the city center it's still quite early so it's not super hot yet so we're gonna use this time for our advantage and yeah we're staying a bit outside of the city so it says it's like a 45 minute walk into town we're gonna go and have something to eat and we need to get out some cash and that kind of stuff Luckily, it's not yet that hot today. Yesterday when we arrived, it was 41 degrees and it said feels like 44. So I can tell you guys that's really, really hot. At the moment, it's actually kind of cloudy and it was even thundering last night and raining. So I think that has maybe made the weather today a little bit more pleasant. Yeah, it's the perfect time now to do this walk into the city. Like I said, it's not even that hot this morning, but still after this walk, I am so sweaty and feeling so nasty. I really hope the breakfast spot we're going to has some kind of air conditioning or at least some fans or something, because I need to cool down. This day we were feeling quite tired as a result from the previous day's travels so the only interesting thing that we ended up doing and that I filmed was eating at these restaurants. Luckily though we're in Mexico now who are famous for their amazing cuisine. in Mexico, success. Good morning, it is the next day now. It is at the moment 8 a.m. and we are waiting to be picked up. The first destination of today is to visit these Mayan ruins, which is probably like the most popular and famous place to visit here in Palenque. Oh, look what we spotted while waiting for our pickup. There's some monkeys up there. I think two of them actually. I don't know if you can see, but there's one there. And then there's one climbing somewhere here, but you can't really see that one. And those monkeys make an awful sound. It almost sounds like a zombie or something. They like scream. We have now entered the park. So for today, we paid for transport and the entrances, a total of 650 pesos. But if you wanted to do a tour, it was, well, someone said it was 2000 more and someone else was saying 500 and I don't know, but it was a lot more. So we're gonna do this independently today, which I don't necessarily mind. We can do it in peace. And something surprising, in order to be allowed to film here, I had to pay 50 pesos extra. They gave me this uh, thing where it says that I'm allowed to 
to use my electronics. I don't know how it would be if you want to take like photos with like a camera because they saw my action camera and they were like, oh, you need to pay if you want to use that. And I was like, really? I've never heard that in my life before that you would have to pay extra. Something good to know if you come here. The archaeological site in Palenque is a remarkable ancient Mayan city known for its stunning architecture and rich history. This ancient city dates back to 226 BC and the site is 1780 hectares and about 1400 buildings have been found. However, as a lot of it is covered by a lush jungle, there's probably still spots that have yet to be uncovered. It's believed to have been one of the most advanced cities of the Mayan civilization, making it a very cool and unique place to visit. It is really beautiful here, but I must say it feels quite touristic. Like there's a lot of people selling like tourist crap and that kind of things. Like when we were in Tikal in Guatemala, that wasn't the case at all. <sighs> It is only the morning, but it is already so hot here. My goodness. Oh, it's gonna feel nice swimming a bit later. exited the park and we actually managed to find a restaurant. No idea what the rating is, no idea if it's good or not, but the prices were okay and it was where we needed it to be location-wise and we are hungry so we ordered finally some breakfast. I ordered also this like apple cider, alcohol-free. Let's try it. Oh, that's really nice and fresh. <sighs> yeah, I ordered myself some huevos rancheros. We have now arrived to a waterfall and we're gonna be spending the next hour here and then after this we're still gonna go to another waterfall where I think we'll be spending two hours. Wow, it says that the place where to swim here, the pool, has the depth of 25 meters. That's really deep, crazy. Okay, let's go and check out the waterfall. Wow, amazing. What an amazing place! Wow! arrived to the second waterfalls of today and it already looks really really beautiful. It reminds me a bit of the Semuk Champi spot that we went to in Guatemala. It also reminds me a bit of these waterfalls I went to in Laos where the water is like turquoise. It's so beautiful.
go. Oh, I, 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 I. Very rocky. If you have water shoes, I would maybe recommend bringing those. It will be a bit more comfortable. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's really, 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 really cold. Oh, oh my goodness. But the color of the water is so pretty. But it's really, really cold. So icy. I know I'm from Finland, but in Finland we have saunas. Okay, here the weather is almost like a sauna to be fair. And there are some fish biting my feet, I think. Every time I stop, I can feel a little nibble. <laughs> Some guy has just told us if you go here, we're supposed to see a beautiful panorama over the waterfall. But yeah, let's go and check that out. just had a late lunch at one of these restaurants here and well the food was quite mediocre not the best but that's often the case when you eat at these touristy spots but I must say this morning the breakfast that we had by the ruins was pretty good that was better than I was expecting but the lunch was meh but at least I'm not hungry anymore it's fine it did the job and now we still have a little bit of time so we're just walking around for it's time to head back to Palenque I decided to treat myself for a little treat because I'm not completely satisfied after the lunch but I found a Milky Way that's red berries I didn't know that existed I thought Milky Way only had like the classical Milky Way one so I was really curious and I'm gonna try this let's see if it's good so it has like toffee and instead of like the milky filling that they usually have it's like red hmm it's actually pretty good Although it is much more sweeter than the regular one. We are about to check out from the hotel. About this hotel, I would say it's been a nice hotel. We have a really big uh, room with air conditioning and a big bathroom and everything. And there is also a swimming pool. But I would say the one big minus with this hotel is the lack of restaurants like this hotel is located a little bit outside of the city center it's about a 45 minute walk from the city to here and there's no like good restaurants nearby like this hotel doesn't serve any food no breakfast no nothing there's one restaurant right next to this place but what we were reading in the reviews people were saying that they scam you money there and stuff so we haven't been there actually and then there is one restaurant that's like a 20 minute walk away that where we had dinner one night that was was okay but it's not open for breakfast times and stuff so every morning we're having a bit the issue on where to eat like either we have to take a taxi or walk almost an hour to get food and that kind of stuff so yeah I would say that has made the stay here a little bit more annoying but otherwise it's been a nice hotel and the price was good so can't complain too much time to check out and then we're gonna head into the city center we're gonna try and get a taxi because I don't want to walk 45 minutes slash an hour with all these bags in the heat and we're gonna find some breakfast and then we'll be heading to the next city video here i hope you have enjoyed it and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again on my next adventure